Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about compiling your database, how and why you should compile your Microsoft Access database. Okay, so you've built your database. Everything seems to be fine most of the time, but you're getting crazy random error messages that you can't explain, or Access is crashing for no apparent reason, or you're trying to create an encrypted ACCDE file because you're going to distribute it as a front end. And Compact and Repair doesn't seem to help with any of these problems. So you might have something weird and crazy going on in your database. How do you fix it? Well, the first thing you're going to do is compile your database. You're going to go into your Visual Basic Editor. You're going to click on Debug and then Compile whatever your database name is. Do that. And the compiler might stop if it recognizes any problems. Here, for example, I typed in message box wrong. It may do nothing. It may just compile in the background and everything seems to be okay. But generally, it will point out something wrong in your VBA somewhere. Now, go use your database or if you're trying to create an encrypted front end, create your ACCDE file again now. Now, if you don't know what this is, I have a video on it called my simple security video where I show you how to create an encrypted executable only file that you can distribute to your users. If you can do this, if this step completes successfully, chances are your VBA is fine. What exactly is compiling your database? Well, VBA is basically close to English, right? It's all plain text written so that a human can understand it. And when you compile your database, it essentially translates that text into something that the computer can more easily read. Now, Access doesn't always compile every part of your database every time you use it. It compiles only what it needs. And sometimes pieces of that can get corrupted. So after compiling, if you still have problems, you can try decompiling the database. Decompiling is a little more involved. You have to close Access down, open up a command prompt, and then you have to type in what I've got there. You want to type in inside of quotes, the full path to wherever you installed access. You pick this location when you installed office. It's usually either this folder or this folder. If you went with the defaults, depends on your system. Then a space, then forward slash decompile, then another space, and then inside of quotes, the full path and file name to your database. Press enter. Nothing will appear to happen, but access will take all the machine code in your database and revert it back to a raw data format, basically. It's technical. But essentially, now that you've decompiled the entire database, you can go back in and recompile it again, right? This is in case any of the compiled code got messed up. It happens, right? Sometimes, like eggs, they get scrambled, okay? So you compile it. If it still doesn't work, you decompile it. Then you compile it again and now try to make your ACCDE file. And this time, if it still doesn't work, you got a deeper problem. If you still got problems, go to this page and run down my troubleshooter. There's all kinds of different stuff on here. And I've tried to organize the list from the easy stuff that tends to work the most all the way down to the hard stuff. All right, there's a video here you can watch. But basically, you know, check your backups, restart access, restart all your databases, compact and repair. Here's compile and decompile. Then we got stuff like restart office, reboot the PC, and so on, right? From the easy stuff down to the hard stuff. But I'm going to say nine times out of ten, when people have this problem, when their database won't compile or you're getting random error messages, it's because you've got a problem somewhere in your code. Usually something is spelled wrong, like I did here, right? And it didn't run, right? Because you could have code in one of your forms behind a button that, you never pressed after you wrote it, but it could be causing problems somewhere else. And it would, it would cause your database not to compile when you try to create that ACCDE file. Because when you do that, Access is going to compile all the code, even stuff you might not have run since you wrote it. That happens to me all the time. I'll make a little change here, a little change there. I'll spell something wrong. I'll copy and paste something wrong. Then I go to make my ACCDE file and it won't, and it won't, it won't go because I got a, a typo in my code somewhere. So I'm telling you, 90% of the time, that's what it is. So let me walk you through a little bit of this. Here's my tech help database. You've probably seen this before if you've watched any of my other videos. And let's intentionally put an error in here. I'll go to design view. Let me open up one of these buttons. And I'll put a 
bad piece of code in here. MS box high. I'm trying to message box high, but I spelled message box wrong and I didn't catch it. All right, so I close this, close this. Save changes, sure. And I'm, I'm moving along, using my database, right? Doing stuff, right? And I never noticed that error because I didn't click that button. If you click the button, you're going to get that. All right, but let's pretend that didn't happen. I didn't click it. Okay, now it's time to distribute my front end. And I want to file, save as, make an ACCDE file, and give it a location. All right, save. And oh, Access was unable to create the ACCDE file. Why? It doesn't tell you why. It doesn't say, oh, there was a, you know, you're a dummy and you typed in message box wrong. It doesn't tell you that. It's just, okay, now you're back in your database. So, go back into your code. I got a little button up here on my quick launch toolbar to open up the code editor. Okay? Doesn't matter if you're in the right spot. Just hit debug, compile, and it takes you right to the problem. And you can go, oh, I'm a dummy. Well, I want to use a different word for that, but okay. But now at least it pointed you right to what your problem is. All right, so I can fix that or just delete it. Okay, then compile again, right? Every time you compile and get an error message, do it again until you don't get an error message. Right, now if I drop this down, you can see it's grayed out. That means this entire database has been successfully compiled. All right, the whole thing. Now I should be able to go file, save as, make ACCDE file. Save changes, yeah, sure, okay. And then, come on, come to Papa. Okay, looks like it made it, and yes, I do see it on my desktop. It's right there next door, okay? Now, this not only is for compile errors where, you know, you've got some bad code, but like I said before, when, when Access runs your database, it might compile things in pieces. It doesn't necessarily compile the whole database unless you manually compile it. So you could have something messed up in a pre-compiled piece that is causing the whole database to have problems. So that's where you might need to decompile it. So let me get rid of this. Now, decompiling is a little more tricky. All right, so whenever it comes time to doing stuff like this with the command prompt, I like to use Notepad. So I'm going to open up Notepad first. I like to put my commands on Notepad and then copy them into the command editor. What we're going to do is we're going to find access. Now, so I got a shortcut there, but you might have to go to your start menu, find access, right-click on it, go to More and then open file location. That's gonna open up your Windows File Explorer, and that's gonna put you where that shortcut to access is. This isn't what we want though. See, we're just in our start menu. Now we wanna right click on this guy and go to properties. This is what we're looking for, that target. All right, copy, control C. That is the full path to wherever Microsoft Access is on your system. Paste it in there, and then space, and then forward slash decompile. Now, we're gonna do the same thing with our tech help database file, which is sitting on my desktop, okay? So you're gonna to go to C, it's usually under users, your username, mine is Amacur, because it was Amacron, but for some reason it got cut short and I just never bothered to fix it. Amacron, <laughs> desktop, okay? Now my tech help database is right there. All right, so I'm going to copy this from the address bar up top here, put it inside of quotes, and then backslash tech help dot ACCDB. There's the command that I need right there. It's different for everybody because your Microsoft Access .exe might be in a different folder than mine, and your database is definitely going to be in a different folder than mine. Now, that's your command. Copy this whole thing to the clipboard, control C, and now we can go open up the command editor. So start type in cmd there's your command prompt click on that that opens up this bad boy control v to paste okay and then press enter now your database will open up there it is database opened up and you can see from the editor nothing appears to happen in the editor window so we can close that now this is basically an undocumented feature that microsoft didn't really tell anybody about this is supposed to be for their developers and just in case you're curious, no, there is no way that you could take an encrypted ACCDE file and decompile it to get the VBA back out of it. That's impossible. There are some third-party utilities I've seen online that, that claim to do that. I've never tested any of them, but I don't trust them. So anyways, now we're in our decompiled database. Go back into your code editor, debug, 
Oh, I missed it. Debug, compile again, and now it should go through and compile completely. And now you've you've decompiled it, so you've removed all the machine code from the back end. Okay, and then you've recompiled it all back into fresh machine code. Okay. If you want to learn all the nerdy details, there's an excellent article written by fellow Axis MVP Philip Stiefel. It's on his website. I'll put a link there. You can click on it down below too. Excellent article goes over all the nerdy details about, you know, compiling VBA into pseudocode and uh, more detail than I went into. So if you really care about all the nitty gritty details, check his article out. And a special thanks also to Mike Wolf over at NoLongerSet.com. It's funny because I've been planning on putting together a video on compiling and decompiling your database for a while now because it's a common question I get all the time. And I, I read his blog every day, and he just happened to post this. So, Mike, thanks for pointing me in the direction of Philip's article. <laughs> you see, we're all one big happy access community. But I highly recommend Mike's blog. Go check it out. Okay, so that's it. That's why you want to compile and, if necessary, decompile your database. If you have any questions, let me know. I hope you learned something. And, of course, we'll see you next time.